It's 8.09 on your hometown station, FM 98.1 and AM 1220. And, whew, it is heating up. It is getting hot this week up into the triple digits. And I'm about to read your mind right now. You've been considering a new roof, right? Okay, maybe not so. Uh, but you've been considering solar, right? Okay, maybe, maybe not. But, hey, August Roofing and Solar, uh, they have professionalism expertise they are an incredible company that will go in and will they won't cut corners they maintain professionalism and they have licensed contractors right at the call um, and hey with me right now on the call is Chris the CEO and founder of August Roofing Chris hey good morning NG how you doing today good morning Chris so I have a bunch of questions because I'm not a roofing expert, I'm not a solar expert, but you are. Um, so the first thing that I have to go over is what are some of the tall tale signs that a roof probably needs a repair or you probably even need a new roof? What are those tall tale signs? Um, the like obviously stains inside your house and some of them can be pretty minor so I always encourage people to walk uh, your entire uh, house look in the corners look for because usually the the stains are little tiny about you know uh, do, sand dollar uh, stains in the corners of the rooms you might not even notice them unless you're looking for them uh, another sign which is a little harder to see because um, you again you got to get out uh, will be dry rot around the edges of your roof like your face is starting to look spongy or or though you can see the paint flaking really bad those are pretty good signs that uh, should definitely have us come out and take a look at it for you oh man and so when you find some of those stains does that mean that you're gonna have to like replace the entire roof or is it like maybe just uh, an isolated thing that you can repair yeah it all depends so that that's why we come out and we you know give you a professional consultation look at you know depends on roof types age that kind of thing um but not all roofs need replacement we do repairs to full replacements it, it, it's whatever is uh, works the best for the customer and that's why you call august roofing because they're going to come out they're going to give you a consultation and um i have to go over the solar aspect as well so solar let's say we got a new roof here or do i even need a new roof to be able to handle these panels coming in is that something that uh like are the panels super heavy that i'm gonna have to modify my roof uh no the 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 panels aren't that heavy that uh, roofs require modifications some cities do require what we call engineering so in other words we have an engineer look at your roof structure and they say yes they bless it they say yes that it can carry the roof load uh but that's kind of half and half uh so the you know the panels aren't that heavy that they uh re require uh, uh modifications right and when it comes to solar uh, i feel like a lot of people get that uh, idea that oh okay well once the sun goes down are you still going to have electricity does solar have like a whole battery that kind of comes with that whole uh, package yeah that's really what we've moved into um, we've moved into a new uh, calculation that the Public Utilities Commission has given the the, the utilities to use and batteries because in, in solar we always talk about ROI return on investment because it's one of the few things you'll buy in your life that will actually potentially pay for itself or at least part of it uh, most of the time you buy something it's to uh, maintain or make sure that the house doesn't fall apart this one actually gives back so we always talk about ROI and so the uh, batteries are now really uh, crit critical or crucial in, in crafting a good ROI but when we come out you know, we'll get a year's worth of bills from you. I mean, this is the best way to do it. Not all of our customers do it this way, but if you really want a great assessment, you get us a year's worth of bills. Um, we have a uh, uh, software that we put it in. It calculates all the ability of panels on various different sections of your roof. And then from there, we can sit down and craft with you. You know, maybe you have an aesthetic issue. Maybe you don't want them on the front. And so there we can sit down and craft and say, okay, these are the panels that produce the most. 
and then we put it in with your usage and we come up with okay this is what this is what this system will save you and that this is how much how long it will take to pay it back see that's really really cool i didn't know that you could actually place them other places you know i thought they just had to go on the roof but hey don't be afraid everyone out there the technology exists we can make it happen uh, as I mentioned, we are going into the triple digits this weekend, um, or this whole entire week and weekend, um, and you're going to be wanting to run that AC unit all day long. Why not have the sun power the whole thing for you? Um, so I, I, another thing for solar panels, uh, does that roof orientation kind of matter for like the best angle to try and capture the sun? Yeah, uh, obviously um, there are better angles, uh, and you're you know everybody's roofs orientated, and that's again why we do what we call a max fit, where we'll where we'll take a look at the orientation and how each of the panels were produced, and then we can uh, come up with the best solution. But they don't always have to be on that exact perfect plane. Obviously, they'll do better, but we've done plenty of systems where we've used other planes to uh, make the whole thing uh, pencil out. Very nice. And uh, I, I got to go into maintenance here. What's the upkeep kind of like for solar panels? Like I assume they might get a little dusty. We're going to have to go up there and wipe them or something. Yeah, that's the, the, the one of the, the major components of, of uh, uh, maintenance is get up there and clean them off. Uh, but you should check. I mean, everybody gets what uh, they, we call a monitoring package, so they can go on at any time and take a look and see how well their panels are working. I mean, they're, they are tools. Um, they are machines like anything else, and sometimes they go bad, and you need to replace a panel or two. Um, and then uh, the inverters and other components, and if you go on, you can tell how well your uh, system is functioning as compared to historically and then if you notice something then you can have us come out and take a look at it and then you know there's cables and wiring that just should be checked you know they're they're held up with zip ties well not zip ties they're with clamps and stuff like that um and the, you know stuff wind santa Anna's, they can come on un, un, uh, undone and you know the, those should be dressed up again just to keep them from uh you know rubbing on the roof and and causing problems yeah, and so on days unlike this entire week, let's say it's overcast, let's say it's rainy like the beginning of this year, are those solar panels going to be still able to, to function kind of normally? Are they going to be super hindered? Yeah, it's kind of a double-edged question. Um, yes, they, they, they will, I mean, it's, it's UVs, UV rays are what make the, the panel go. So, yes, I mean, you've been at the beach when it's been overcast and you come home and you're like, man, I should have put sunscreen on. I'm fried. So, yes, when the when it's overcast, it still does function, um, but uh, less effectively. Um, the prime time for panels is like right now they're not going to function. You would think, man, 100 degrees, that thing is just going to be cranking. But actually, with, when the ambient temperature is so high, they don't quite produce as well. So usually the spring and the fall are actually the most, um, the highest production for your panels when the, the weather's cooler, but we still have sunny days. Oh, oh, very. So that's something I didn't know. I thought, you know, heat, oh, it's going to be 100 degrees. I, it's going to be the best power plant right there in your, in your home. But that's very interesting. Um, so approximately, I'm going to go right back to roofing really quickly. Approximately how long, and I know this is kind of a case by case basis, but how, how, approximately how long do you guys go in and, uh, take to install a whole new roof? Yeah, they're usually about a week, week and a half. Again, like you said, depending on the complexity of the roof, the size and all that sort of stuff. But if you're doing an entire roof replacement, a week is usually a pretty good uh, rule of thumb. Very, very nice. Um, I've been talking to Chris, the founder CEO of August Roofing and Solar. They're the people that you want to go to if you need a new roof, a repair on your roof. If you want solar, if you've been toying with the idea of maybe getting some solar, they're the guys to call. Chris, how can they get connected with you? Call us at, uh, well, Chris at, I mean, 
AugustRoofing.com is the best way to to get a hold of us. Uh, fill out our web form, and we'll get right back with you and get get a consultant up to your house. All right. Until next time, Chris, it's been great talking to you. All right. You too, Benji. Bye. Bye.